2022 uh, politics. Let us begin with the starting shot of that story where we saw the deputy president arrive in a chopper with the URP colors. Um, was that a statement in and of itself? Start with you, David. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would start with the All right, let's start with the <laughs> man. Yes, sir. You know, history is very important. Mm -hmm. You remember uh, 202 when President uh, Kibaki became a uh, presidential candidate of uh, NARC. Uh, that was put together within a month. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, later on, PNU was formed. It, PNU was more powerful than you believe today. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you can see what happened to NARC. You can see what happened to PNU. Uh, so that tells you what will happen to Jubilee Party. And uh, I can assure you, um, parties have, uh, no single party now can form a government and uh, you have to make coalitions. And uh, no single uh, region can also form the president, can, can produce the presidency by its own. So you need a situation whereby um, every Kenyan feels part of it and uh, you need a situation whereby uh, all Kenyans work on it. And I really like uh, what President Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, uh, Right Honorable Raila Odinga did. First, they said Kenya is bigger than us. And that's what we should be seeing what other leaders doing. Uh, other leaders are just thumpy. It is me up to 2050. You, you know, it cannot be like that. I mean, uh, Kenya has changed. They should wake up. Um, and not hide in their tribal cocoons and realize Kenya is a nation, a great nation, which needs to be built by people who are not selfish, which needs to be built by people who are not corrupt. Uh, that's why we are saying there must be life audits. Uh, let everyone uh, show the source of their wealth. And, uh, and we should have, uh, and Kenyans are looking forward not to go below uh, standards uh, originally um, set so far. Uh, and we want to see selfless leaders in future. We want to see uh, people who can uh, stand for the nation, but not for themselves, not for their tribe. And uh, uh, William Ruto, the deputy president, must know that um, he's going to be challenged as a, as a, as a, as a, as a presidential uh, candidate. Uh, there is going to be competition, and the Kenyans will choose the best. And I, think, I believe now the attitude in Kenya now is uh, uh, so long as they've chosen the best, we support. That's the other presidents which has been set by President Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. So we, Deputy President must know that uh, he's going to be challenged. Mm -hmm. Even the hyper leader Kalonzo Musoka will be a presidential candidate. He's not the only presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure coalitions are going to be formed and Kenya will get the best. Mm -hmm. And uh, just again, David, <laughs> to get your views on, on this particular uh, event, you know, like I said, the deputy president arrival in a chopper. You could have chosen any chopper <laughs> at his disposal, but it came with URP colors. And often in political events, um, the the leader might not say it, but the lieutenants we'll say often it. say probably what the leader is thinking. I I studied a very beautiful course in a university called Central European University. Mm -hmm. I studied something called. Uh, the political psychology of populism. <laughs> uh, part of the things in political psychology that you read out, you, you try to look out for are the subliminal messaging. Right. The color of that chopper is a subliminal message. It is not said. It is for you to try and make up what you think it could be. Of course, red, yellow, and black were URP colors mm -hmm. before Jubilee had a merger. The increasing disgruntlement amongst the foot soldiers of the deputy president. When you see Senator Murkomen speak, Oscar Sudi speak, I it shows that the relationship between the DP and the president may be a little frosty. If I had more common rights, and they blame it on the former prime minister and the, the yeah, because of the, the, the right handshake, Honorable Raila and Odinga, handshake and say, he came in, <laughs> and when he came in, he <coughs> just decided these are uh, Ruto's people, these are Uhuru's people. I think in fighting against graft, let's cease from pointing fingers because I I think when this the fight against graft, I recently saw even Uhuru's nephew has been named in the NYS scam, all right? So Kenya power may be under 
uh, you know, Charles Keter, who is the right-hand man of the deputy president. But let's just agree that we need to fix the nation. So if, because by the virtue of positions, the leader of majority in the Senate, Murkomen, should be able to know if there is something else elsewhere. So first we should ask, is he owning up to the, the allegations of corruption that have come to fore in the recent past? It seems it is an admission that yes, these are here, but why are we not pointing others elsewhere? So by virtue of his position, my good friend Kipchumba should be able to fork out the ministries believed to be under the firm grip of the president and not the DP and bring out any, you know, uh, and, and whistle blow on any corruption deals, uh, things that have gone on in those ministries that he feels are being hidden so that we are able to deal with corruption. We, corruption must not know a tribe, my friend. Mm -hmm. Or a party. Or a party. Right. It must be dealt with for what it is. It must be dealt with by people who are determined to secure the future for our children, knowing very well that if we lick this country dry today, if we pilfer it and scrap it clean, our children will curse us even when we are dead for it. They will look back and say, I wish you, my parents, were not born. And all of us must join in the fight against graft. The thing is, let's also not make it look partisan. So if, for example, the Auditor General has, in the recent past, said that billions were lost in these ministries, in agriculture, led by Mwangi Kunjuri, in, you know, even in the state house, they said some monies were not used rightly to the tune of 200 million. Let's address them together so that the fight against graft doesn't seem to be angled towards right. a few people who are closer to the DP than the presidency. Mm -hmm. That's why I say I was happy to read that Petro Kenya, whatever that company was, with God Semelango and the president's nephew, was also mentioned. Call them out on it. And I said, if the president is going to conquer this battle and conquer corruption and win this war, he must be ready to have a lot of collateral damage. He must be able to close his eyes and say, what, you know, in the Ministry of Health under the uh, former PS Muraguri, who is now in Lance, this five billion was allegedly lost and my sister was mentioned in this case and I am willing to deal with it, to address it. Right. Yeah. And also, uh, Mr. Manza, um, in that story we also saw the reintroduction, uh, and I use that word in terms of, of course, he's been quiet for a while, or, or at least we don't know what he's been doing, but um, the reintroduction of Peter Kenneth as yes. now a possible running mate. Most people will deny that, uh, you know, let's not talk about politics, let's focus on Kufanya uh, Kazi, Ajira, ITC, for 2022. But what does the reintroduction of Peter Kenneth do to the political uh, matrix, as it were? You know, you know, I've been in politics for some time now. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes you can be innocently invited mm. into something where you don't <laughs> even know who else is coming over. Right. And uh, from the picture the, which was painted, uh, once Peter Kennedy was there, a uh, very good friend, uh, he may not have known. And was, that's why he was very careful with what he said. He said, let's support President Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, the Right Honorable Raila Odinga in what they are doing. Uh, because he found himself <laughs> <laughs> caught up in a, in a situation whereby they want to send an image to central Kenya that, uh, look, w w we are part of you here. You know, whoever will be president in 2022 has to be aware that central Kenya has six million votes. And uh, you must tell central Kenya what is the need for them to be able to vote for you. Uh, are they going to vote for you? and then you turn against them in a few days, and you fix them. So who will, pr who will protect them in that system, in that organization? Mm. Uh, so, so, so you cannot do politics in Kenya, ignoring the role of central Kenya among other regions in the country. And I think that's what they are trying to fix. But unfortunately, that's a quick fix. It can't work. All these uh, young people you saw from central Kenya, uh, some of them have been uh, the, the members of parliament and the like, I've, I've been on the forefront uh, campaigning 
uh, for, for, for the DP as a, to be a presidential candidate. And President Uhuru Kenyatta told them, look, it's time to work. This matter of, uh, of 2022, leave it for now. And because they have chosen to disobey President Uhuru Kenyatta, I can assure you, the Central Kenya region at some point will have, uh, because that's the target, will have a direction. And the direction a people take, they take it in totality and for good reasons. And that's why you have seen the President Uhuru Kenyatta is say, let's expand the executive. There are proposals to expand the executive so that we accommodate uh, the nation. But uh, some people don't want any changes in the constitution because the current structure they think will favor them. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so just uh, invite you, Honorable Peter Kenneth, uh, to but, prompt Arambi to make yeah. a show that but, is not going but, to help. Uh, <coughs> let me ask, uh, when you are invited to an event, and like you said, you know, you have many years in this, um, when you see the, where the event is being held, if you see the people who have been invited, the Sudis, the Mandagors, the yeah. Murkomes, the Kindikis, yes. uh, would it raise a flag for you? Yeah, you and you see, had the option of... You see, you will discover uh -huh. when, when you there. get to the venue, okay. uh, the characters you are talking, mm -hmm. the members of parliament from different regions, you mm -hmm. can just see two, three mm -hmm. uh, defiant members of parliament from central Kenya uh, disobey President Uhuru Kenyatta and running around, say 2022 is this and that. I have cautioned them in Parliament that uh, go slow <laughs> before the people turn against you. Right. Yes. David. I, 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 one, <coughs> I want to uh, disagree with the notion that you must first explain to Central Kenya what's, in it, what's in it for them and whether you will protect them or not. I want us to be champions for a country where our electorate will be able to elect their leaders because they know from their track record that they are able to lead. You see, when, for example, I supported Raila Odinga, who I still hold would have been the best president under this dispensation, it was because I was able to stand and elucidate why he was the best option for the country. That when he was a minister for roads, it did not matter. He had to bring down even his own brother's road, which was said to be in a road reserve. Leadership. So if we start the tag of uh, Central Kenya or then Nyanza, then we are going to still get ourselves back to the problem we have always had of a country that is polarized ethnically ahead of every election. I want and I plead that Kenyans are able to identify if it's Honorable Kalonzo Musioka and say, this is it. These are your merits. You don't need to protect us. There's nothing we have done. When, 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 when uh, Dan Manzo says, are you able to protect them, then he's, in, in fact, so speaking I about the, the country. Oligarchy. Maybe you didn't understand me. No, no, I no. meant this is the country, yes. to put the country together. That's it. Because, That's what because, we because there's be this notion, uh -huh. some people want to punish other regions because you, you did not support them or for, for historical purposes yeah. you want to, to, to punish some regions. Oh, okay. And that is what you say should be disabused. That yeah, is what should we, be we should try and disabuse and unify the country and tell them, guys, uh, I know we have problems emerging from the past. I am not blind to our history. Mm -hmm. But we can fix them. Mm -hmm. Which I bet is what the president and the, and the former prime minister have been trying to do all this while. Mm -hmm. they, I, they know that for sure the country rests uneasy. That we, are not, we don't trust each other politically, that we are neighbors, but there is no trust. Mm. And this is likely to flare up as we get towards the election. I hope we are able to get to a point where we get our leaders knowing very well who they are, so that our choice, when we have to deal with the consequences of our choices, we are glad to deal with them. Now, coming to Peter Kenneth, I know Peter Kenneth, and I know he is not... Uh, he, 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 come later. No, <laughs> he is he is a brilliant person <coughs> in his own right. Mm -hmm. He is no political fool. So when Peter Kenneth went down there, I am sure he knew what he was doing. He knew he would be there. He knew his host would be would be the deputy president. He knew very well that it would send a signal. He knew the outcome would be the tongues wagging, whether he's the next, the new or the next deputy uh, candidate for, for uh, uh, Honorable William Ruto. 
He knew it. He was not there by coincidence or by accident. There are choices you make. You see, you could be in a, in a, in a church gathering, then you are whispering to each other and someone takes a shot. And then that way we can be able to say, ah, those are just uh, things that are being run. And the media can, of course, create something that's not there. It's, it's been done before. But I do not think that uh, the Honorable Peter Kenneth did not know what he was doing when he went down there. Thing is, how does it play for himself? If he becomes selfish and were to look at it as a political leader. Mm -hmm. Because he's getting into a space where the likes of uh, Professor Kindiki Kithure have been angling for that deputy role. Mm -hmm. He's getting into a space where there are other friends who have been looking at that role. The leaders from Western have been named as possible deputies, you know, deputy candidates to the, 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 uh, William Ruto as a candidate for presidency. Right. That we will have to look at at another day. But as I said, the content of what he said there, my friend, the fight against corruption must not know whose friend is whose friend. Mm -hmm. Who we must agree. That yes, if we have found billions looted, in energy, let's fix it. 